Kent back here with the second of three episodes, uh, an introduction to test commit revert, the uh, TCR programming workflow. We left episode one with uh, the ability to calculate an object which represented either the substring of a large string or the concatenation of two more of these uh, things we called ropes. And with those in place, now we can implement the insert and constant time insert and delete operations, which is the whole point of this work, uh, this data structure. So what does that test look like? Now, before I write this test, there's a certain amount of um, repetition to this that I don't like. I'd, I would like to have I'm not using a real testing framework, but I'd like a little bit more. So I'm going to call this my testing framework, where I have uh, a function that captures this. Uh, equals, I'll call it equals, um, and we'll have the uh, actual value and the expected value. Kind of like having the expected value first, but uh, just because it's easier to read, but that's okay. So we're going to say um, uh, the actual value, though, we'll call it the rope. And the, uh, so actual is equal to uh, stir of rope. There we go. And uh, if actual equals expected, Turn and otherwise will raise exception. Um, yeah. But first, we we'll just do a print here. Won't, won't worry about this. Um, actual. didn't equal expected. There we go. Now we have that in place. So this is something that I do on a fairly regular basis where I will, uh, I've been writing too much prose. Um, well, I'll just make my work a little bit easier to do. And it's something that some people that I work with just don't seem to have the habit of. So if I change this to D, we should get an error over here. Yeah, ABC didn't equal ADC. Perfect. Oh, and I don't even need these spaces here. Thank you, Python. You're very thoughtful. And now I can replace these. As I was saying, I think that it's uh, it's worthwhile to just invest in uh, doing a little bit to help your own work on a periodic basis. It's too easy. We get we get kind of inured to the pain of some style of programming. Now here I'm going to be bold and change two things at once. Woo! Really? Crazy. I'm going to put my efforts at risk here. Yes, and it passed. Okay. Yeah, so just make your, don't just do the work, make the work easier. And that pays off for you and the rest of your teammates at the same time. Uh, okay, so now I want a new equals, which says, uh, let's, the uh, delete um, case works a little bit easier. So, two rope a b c d e oops uh, dot delete and i i want again i'm going to go with uh, index and length so index 1 length 3 and this should equal a e yeah so 
what is uh what is the what does delete look like def delete self start length uh maybe i should just return this nope no So my test disappeared. This is something that uh, seems to bother a lot of people, and it's just kind of the price of a TCR. Let me try that again. Two rope, A, B, C, D, E. Oops, bump, bump, delete. Uh, one, two, three, one, four, three. And that should be equal to A, E. So if I just run this now, it's going to disappear. So I don't like that. Uh, let's see. Now, how am I going to do this? OK, so the, this we know this is just going to be a string. So uh, delete self start length return. Did I forget the return? I've been coding in Ruby a lot lately, and I kind of like not having to have an explicit return, but going back and forth is, uh, is killing me. Well, let's, uh, let's see. This is, uh, that was only a 60 seconds worth. Okay. So that worked. Um, what we want here is, though, is a, uh, is really something that's kind of A concatenated with E if the start is 1 and the length is 3 and the the one we're working on is A, B, C, D, E. Well, what this is, is there's a left. Okay, so that should still pass. If a left, the left part of the thing that we're deleting is A, then that's that, and if the right part is E, I can do this also. Now I could I can save right now if I want to. You'll find yourself saving frequently in uh, TCR just because it's 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 not fun to lose work, but it's also not a great tragedy. So um, okay, so we want to actually calculate this. So this is a substring self dot substring and it goes from 0 to uh, start and this is a substring goes self substring and this goes start plus length and how far does it go it goes so let's say here we've got a five character um, five character string. Start is one, length is three. So we want to go from four and the length should be one, which is the total length of this string, which we don't have yet. But this is what we want it to be. Minus start minus length. Yeah. So this should still pass. Oh, and uh, here instead of plus, since we're actually dealing with ropes, we need to say concatenate. Right. And uh, for length, uh, this won't work yet. But if we just put in a return five, this will work. This will work, he says. Hopefully. Oh, I was right. And um, this is really len self dot string. And that should be the same. Now that makes it more general. Um, OK, so now we can delete from individual strings. Uh, but we would like to move this code up here to rope.
So all ropes can delete, but everybody doesn't know how to calculate their length. So let's, uh, let's kick into a lower level. Let's, let's do, um, uh, let's test that substrings and concatenations not how to know how to calculate length. So two rope, A, B, C, D, E, dot substring, one, three, and this should be length three. Yeah, okay. And then substring. Now, def length self. I'd like to say something like self dot length. If you know your, uh, I'm just going to say that, boom, and it'll fail. Because this length and the the namespace for length and the namespace for the methods of substring are the same. So I need to change this to something simpler. And now I can define a length. Def length self return self dot length like that. And it's not being tested yet. Our test, you'll notice, disappeared. Boohoo. Assert to rope A, B, C, D, E dot substring one comma three dot length equals three. And that should pass. Yes. Okay. And now I need to assert two rope. This is a concatenation. A, B, C. Dot concatenate two rope. D, E, 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 E dot length equals five. And here I can say def. So return self dot left dot length plus self dot right dot length. And we cache this value in the concatenation if we wanted to, but anyway, this should pass and we should be good. Okay. So now I have implementations of length, and now I can move this definition of delete up to the superclass. Now what you'll notice is I don't cut cut it and paste it up here. That's I've, I see a lot of people with that workflow. In the TCR world where there's such a premium on small steps, um, my preference is I'm going to copy this, paste it up here. Now everything should work. And now I can delete it from here, and everything should still work. Oops, no, and it didn't. Oh, uh, you have problems. Never mind. You never know what's going to go wrong. There we go. So now we take the left-hand side, the right-hand side, we concatenate them, and away we go. And now we can implement insert. equals to rope a b e dot insert and I want to insert a rope cd cd <laughs> and I'm going to insert that at uh, index 2 And that should equal A, B, C, D, E. There we go. 
Now, if I go look at delete, insert's going to look kind of similar. Def, insert. So is there a cheap way? Uh, rope start. Is there a cheap way to make this work? Yeah, let's just try ZDE. Does that, is that going to hold? That kind of holds the test in place while we work on the implementation. And what we want this to look like, it's going to be a concatenation of, uh, I'm going to take a p fairly big step here. I'm going to have left dot concatenate rope dot concatenate right now all ha all I have to do this is the same and right is self dot substring now I want to go Start is uh, start plus start. Yeah, because we're not deleting anything. So it's just start, and then the uh, end of it is the length self.length minus start. Is that right? You know, this is a great moment. In, uh, in TCR where you say, I, am I, I think I've got it, but maybe not. And that's a moment I can just agonize over for hours. For the tests, which are not complete, but good enough to drive uh, implementation. For the uh, tests, though, we have insert and delete. Now, the thing is, as we wind down this episode, the thing is that this doesn't look very Pythonic. There's uh, there's some things we can do. Uh, we would like uh, a bracket notation for substrings. Um, we would like to use the uh, to hook into the len oops function instead of having our own length. Um, and uh, plus for concatenation. And as we'll see in the next episode, Python makes it relatively easier for us to do these things. Thank you very much for listening, and I'll see you on the rebound.